Oh yeah, get ready, Valerie, for the town sinking. <laughs> Woo! Yes, yes, do that again, Andy. <gasps> oh, Cole, where are you going? Today we are back with the next part of Beating the Bad Boy on the episode app. If you have not seen the last one, I'll have a little link around here somewhere, but prom finally happened, and we had this whole undersea theme, and it was looking to be a disaster. Our mom was chaperoning it, our crush slash frenemies mom was also chaperoning it, who, mind you, our moms are rivals. They came in, they got drunk. It was a hot mess. They were making a fool out of themselves. They were going up on stage thinking they won the crown for the prom queen or whatever they just undersea monarch as they called it. And um, they got escorted out. <laughs> drama, drama, drama. But luckily, we on the other hand won. And now after we are going to the like after prom party with the hotel room. So what's going to happen? But we're going to find out. But I hope you guys are excited. Please go follow the amazing author Sandra. Her Instagram is linked in the description box down below. Without further ado, let's start the drama. Congratulations, Valerie. Oh, roll your eyes, Vicky. That crown should have been mine. Vicky. Vicky, it was not going to happen. Not with that nasty personality you have. Work that crown, girl. Draco Hyde, please help me give a passionate cheer to this year's Undersea Monarchs. Valerie Lawrence. That's my bestie. Oh, give a little clap for Miss Valerie and Cole Rivers. Okay, so everyone's Cole looks so sexy with a crown. Oh, we're, we're not denying it. Oh, the way she's so angry. Stay mad. What a passionate cheer for the two of you. As in tradition of Draco High, our two undersea monarchs shall now lead us in a royal dance. What? <laughs> she's like, um, a dance? It would be my honor, Valerie. Can we not dance? What? Girl. <laughs> Sorry, I have to use the rest. <sighs> the, uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> she won the crown and she isn't even going to dance. I volunteer as a <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. Okay. Ooh. I volunteer as a tribute to Dance for Cole. We had too much seafood beforehand or something. We had to hit that restroom. I guess that means no royal dance. There's a royal dance, but it's on the toilet. Don't worry, you still have the chance <laughs> to have a night of passion. Oh, that too. It's after we get the passion of the restroom out of the way, we're going to have the passion of the hotel room. And I, I know. Let the passion flow through you as you dance. Oh, girl. Girl, that was a smart move. Your lack of rhythm may have got you laughed off the dance floor. Yeah, plus all those eyes staring at me. It was too much pressure. To be quite honest, I don't blame her. If I, I would feel the same way. That's understandable. But congratulations on winning the crown, Valerie. Thanks, Kels. Well, now that that's over, Kels, when I go out, make out, I mean, explore the aquarium, they're going to explore an aquarium, all right. I know a great spot near some cuttlefish. Cuttlefish, you say? Color me intrigued. See what the after party, Valerie. At least Penny understands, but why do I have a feeling that Cole isn't? That was amazing. You mean embarrassing, right? No way, 10 out of 10 would totally watch that I'll go down again. I don't know about that. Cole, I, I could do without our drunk moms battling for the crown in front of the whole school. Oh, I can't believe you just left poor Cole alone on the stage. Cole, I'm sorry about that. It's just, it's fine. I didn't feel like dancing anyways. Well, I'm done with this stupid prom. What do you say we call it a night call and head to our hotel room? But tonight is still young, Vicky. Dances to dance, fish to see. Plus, Valerie and I just got ground. Don't we have, like, duties or something? But Cole, just think of all the fun we can have alone in our hotel room. Fun and subjective. Cole obviously doesn't want to leave yet. And I don't want Vicky to have any more alone time with him if possible. Well, Valerie, I think we just need your votes. Um, I think we should explore more of our realm. You ain't going home, Cole. Sounds like my royal duties are calling me. You understand, right, Vicky? Fish, here we come. Bye, Vicky. Bye. Mm. Okay, so why is she still here? Girl, leave. No one wants you here. Please stop following us, security. Help. You got the moms out. Give Vicky out, too. Wowzers, look at all these fish. Pretty amazing, right? It's so beautiful. You ever gonna you ever gone snorkel diving before one time in Hawaii? That's true, actually. It was so much fun. When I was 
went there, there were even more fish than this. I think the next time I go, though, I want to do swim with sharks instead. Sharks? Yeah, I think it'd be so cool. Yeah. Would you ever do something like that, Valerie? Um... No, but mm, maybe if there was a cage. Yeah, of course. Safety first, after all. I'm not trying to lose a limb or two. Cole, all these fish are making me hungry for sushi. Let's go to our room and order room service. No, time to take this party to the next level, people. Party at room 1069. Be there or be square. Let's go to our room, Cole. Shall we? Okay, everyone's going to the hotel. Why does she look? Cola room is right over here. Uh, what are you doing up here? This floor only has sweets. Oh, Valerie and I also got a sweet. What? Yeah, when you mentioned it at the cafe, I realized you were right, Vicky. It's prom. Valerie and I should celebrate with champagne and a view of the city. Cole's jealous. He ain't having this. And look at that. Our rooms are right next to each other. Don't worry, buddy. We'll try and keep the noise down, but no promises. <laughs> Oh my gosh. See you in the morning. He's doing that just to, wow, this room is perfect. A review online said the sheets feel like butter and that they stock the bar with decent booze. Um, Amanti, we look at that. It just looks like they stock more than just booze. They also have snacks. Andy, we should talk. Oh man, they have everything here except for White Claw. Sorry, what were you saying, Valerie? I was just wondering we have a room should we you know get it honestly to start the drama valerie and flyer but i thought <laughs> i'm not really into you like that oh god i was worried for a moment guess i was just confused since you got this room and we had so much fun at prom together oh you're great valerie plus i now get to say i was the escort of our school's royalty but bringing you to prom just helped with my end game plans end game yep and right now the ball's in my court F yeah, mini pretzels. What is this game? I wonder if he's trying to get Vicky. I wonder what Cole and Vicky are too. Or unless he's just trying to set me and Cole up, which it could be the thing. This is so glamorous, isn't it, Cole? I can't believe we have a room right next to those two. Best not to think about it. Or that crown that cat poop loving Valerie stole from me. You're probably right. Mm-hmm. Cat poop. Valerie uses it as a face mask. I'm surprised you can't smell it. Valerie doesn't even have a cat. Um, I guess she must order it special then. How about we open some bubbly? Can you believe Andy said we'll try and keep the noise down but no promises? Oh, I can believe it. We heard it. What did that chump even mean by that? Well, if I had a guess, Andy was daring to see who could be the loudest and I what do you say we should? No. No, you mean that the crown. I think I should wear it. Oh, um, okay, Sailor Moon. Over here just transforming with her dress. I look good with the crown. Loudest, you don't think Andy and Valerie are going to do it? Honestly, all I'm thinking about right now, Cole, is the two of us slipping into something more comfortable. Wait a minute, did you hear that? Hear what? Is he going to go eavesdrop and listen? Cole? <laughs> is that the bed squeaking? No, this is... <laughs> Instead of thinking about cool with evil Vicky, I'm just going to enjoy myself. I definitely need to get on this action. Oh, yeah. Get ready, Valerie, for the bouncing king. <laughs> Please, I'm the monarch of not only the sleep, but bouncing, too. Woo! Yes, yes. Do that again, Andy. <gasps> oh, Cole, where are you going? Like this. Perfect. Andy, what the hell are you doing? Cole, what are you doing barging in here? Andy, get out of here. Valerie, I need to talk. But what if I don't want Andy to leave? All right, Cole, I'll leave. Are you kidding me? No worries, Valerie. After all, it's almost about time for my end game. Okay. What the hell, Cole? Why did you kick Andy out of my room? You're right. I had no right to ruin your prom night. Then go back to your own prom date, you know, Vicky. I would go back and be with Vicky, but for some reason I can't stop thinking about you. Wait now. Wait now. You can't stop thinking about me. Don't act surprised. Do you remember detention? Do you remember the car ride home? Do you remember all the little flirty moments? Valerie, don't act like you don't know. Yes, I know I have no reason to be and that it isn't a healthy trait, but... But what? The thought of you and Andy alone in this room, it just made me so jealous. You were jealous. 
It was driving me crazy. Vicky just kept on talking and I couldn't even pretend to be interested in what she was saying. That's not hard to do. Because all I could think about was you. How I wished I was in the room next door with you instead of Andy. Oh, we're getting a lot of things admitted right now. Valerie, you can't deny that I'm the only one who feels this way. Ever since that kiss, I know you felt it. Or am I really crazy? If you feel this way, why did you go with Vicky to prom? I thought it would be easier. I thought that maybe she could make me forget you. Vicky, no. But I know now that nothing can make me stop thinking about you. This is more than just an attraction. Please tell me you feel the same way. Finally confess your feelings. Stare at him dumbfounded. I just finally read like the free option. Cool, you're not crazy. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about every moment we've spent together. From the first time I saw you moving next door to sneaking you out of my house to our time at the gala. And tonight, tonight all I've been able to think about is one thing. His D. I think I know what it is because I've been thinking about it all night too. Oh, and there they are sharing a little kiss. Hey, Cole, are you... <laughs> Well, yeah. Now all I need is some ice and it will all work out perfectly. Oh. Ow. What was that? I'm sorry. Andy, please don't tell me. Vicky, are you okay? Cole, I saw him making a Valerie. Oh, that, yeah. Leave us to alone and it's bound to happen sooner or later. But why? What did I do wrong? I'm always second best and I'm tired of it. My parents only care about my stupid brother. I got an A in calculus. They didn't even care. Meanwhile, my brother got a car for getting into some fancy college. What did I get? Nothing. I can't even keep a man. Well, you didn't do anything wrong, Vicky. Uh, you kind of did. You were an awful person. Cole was just oblivious to the fact that he had the smartest girl in his arms for prom. Smartest. Here, you're the only senior who has an A plus in calculus. And I'm still just trying to figure out geometry. No one's ever, ever called me smart before, not even Cole. Well, then all of these people were idiots. Don't they know that clever girls know what to do when the ball's in their courts? Oh, Andy, I like you, Vicky. I, like, really like you. Really, but Valerie, she's just a friend. With me, you're never second best, Vicky. You're the only one I want. Can I kiss you? Yes. We need to talk about choices that were made right there. Andy, why? Why? Um, I just can't get behind that. I'm sorry. It's I know we're trying to have like a Vicky redemption moment here, but... And I know that we tried to do the whole like... Oh, but like my parent, you know, all that stuff. And I get it, but... I don't know, Vicky just acted awful for so many parts of the stories like she was so mean and it always felt like she was going to have the redemption moment but she never did it's like she didn't even really have a redemption moment here it was just this and i would really like to like vicky because she is drop dead gorgeous but she just pro proved time and time and again she was just nasty on the inside and if this starts to help her on the path to be a better person then I'm all here for it and I'm very excited for it but I don't know how to feel about the whole Vicky redemption arc yet if she's even getting one she might not even get one if Andy just likes her because he likes her then you know what now that I think about it you like who you like do what you want whatever who am I to say but let me know your thoughts and opinions on that relationship and what's going on in this chapter. And we are almost done with this story, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please go follow the amazing author Sandra. Our Instagram is once again linked in my description box down below. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching as always, everyone. Bye.